This video explains how to connect lines across missing values in a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two to three of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. So as you can see, our data frame contains 10 rows and the two columns X and Y. And some values in the column Y are an A. Now, if you want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 5 and 6 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 6. And then in the next step, I can use the ggplot and geomline functions to draw our data in a ggplot2 line plot. So after running these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that a line plot is appearing. However, you can also see that due to the missing values, some of the lines are not connected. So if we want to avoid this problem, we first have to remove the rows with missing values in our variable from our data. And we can do that, as you can see, in line 11 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm specifying the name of our input data. And then I'm using square brackets to subset our data frame based on the missing values in the column Y. And then I'm storing my data frame subset with only complete values in a new data set that I'm calling data com. So after running line 11 of the code, this new data set is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data set, you can see that we have removed some of the rows. So for instance, the third row contained an NA value in the column Y. And for that reason, this row was removed. Now in the next step, we can apply the ggplot and geomline functions once again. However, this time we are using our complete data set. So if you run lines 13 and 14 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And this time we have connected the lines across the missing values. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.